Hey guys, it's me again, Jay from Jada Crypto. So, if you're new to crypto, um, one thing you're gonna encounter are wallets, either soft wallet or hard wallet. Oh, and then also exchanges have their own wallets as well. So, placing all your um, crypto in the exchange can be a little risky sometimes because exchanges have been known to uh, get hacked and just recently, um, there was a hack in China, um, Hotbit, one of the ex one of their exchanges uh, got hacked, and uh, they tried to take the money out, but unfortunately they couldn't. However, all the funds are safe. Anyways, in order for you to avoid that, is for you to store your crypto in your own wallet. You can either have it in a soft wallet that you can download through um, Google Play or I'm not sure what you use in Apple, but um, yes, most of them are free. Um, I haven't encountered one that you had to pay for. And one great thing about these um, soft wallets is that it's free and you can stake um, plenty of coins with them. First thing I'm gonna get through first is Coinbase Cold Wallet. Um, I don't have all, I mean, a lot of coins here. I just have them from uh, the free, um, free gift from Coinbase. So, yeah, when you go on Coinbase Cold Wallet, this is how it's gonna look like. Um, if you wanna receive a coin, yeah, you just press receive in the middle, and then you select whichever coin that you wanna um, receive. So let's say XRP. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. So if someone wants to send you XRP to this wallet, or you're sending XRP to this wallet, this is the address that you would type. You press the copy or share address, and before you um, you know click copy and paste you want to make sure that you have the last four characters correct as well as the first two okay and then yeah since it's XRP it's usually quick so that's how you would send at um, XRP to this wallet and it goes the same thing for the other coins as well uh, yep and you also want to make sure that the wallet that you have um, supports the coin that you want to transfer. Because um, there are times when a coin, it's um, what I call it, ticker, is very similar to another coin. And if you send that coin to a different type of address, uh, you're going to have a difficult time trying to retrieve it back. And yes, you are able to retrieve it back. It's because it's in the blockchain. And it's not gonna get lost. And also another great thing about uh, Coinbase Cold Wallet is that they have um, marketplace for like decentralized applications. See, yeah, Uniswap, Instant, uh, I don't know, Instant DApp, Crypto Kitties, so, so rare. Oh, and OpenSea. That's where you get um, a lot of NFTs. And if you ever want to start your own NFT and sell it go to uh, open C yep see so you got you got a list of decentralized apps right here okay there we go and of course when you want to send press the send button and yeah you just select whichever one you want you want to throw and then blah 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 okay let's see oh shit all right so another great thing about coinbase cold wallet is that you can they they're usually integratable with uh, metamask or are integratable with metamask which is like one of the most common wallets that you would use in um, crypto world and i'm not going to show you that today next one in the list soft wallets exit is Oh boy, you know what? I'll just show three today. All right, see that? Fingerprint scanner, making sure nobody else can have access to your wallet. All right, see? Look at this interface, it's so beautiful. Look at that. My God. And if you take a look at ADA right here, it has 5.30 APY. Oh, changed. What the hell? Anyways, what that means is that you can stake your coins here meaning you can get free interest I mean interest on this coin 
so the way interest works in crypto compared to the regular banks is that not only is it better but you you get interest on the asset rather than um, actual dollars all right okay I don't have any ADA here but like I'm just showing you how it would look like if you want to stake ADA so you would select the coin go to the top right select the thing that looks like a metal and then boom staking which is a form of or interest in the crypto world all right and you can stake Adam in there as well Tezos the die token which is a stable coin Algorand ontology and if you want to add more coins in the list boom oh crap oh crap what the heck there we go you can just select these coins and then you press the toggle button and then when you go back go back yeah there we go oh it's not you know what let's try that again Uniswap, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, it is. It is showing. It's right here. Uniswap, chain link. All right. Cool. So, uh, this does have a desktop version as well. So, if you don't want to use it on the phone, yeah, you can just download it on the desktop. Next one in the list. Um, I would say this is the most common one. It's trust wallet trust wallet this is Binance um, wallet as well and it's their most trusted wallet oh yes uh, I'm not scared to show you guys my portfolio here so yeah I got some storm X in here it's connected to metamask and it's staking um, I got some safe moon when it was early uh, started with like 15 bucks then went up to like 200 now it, it took a big dip but I know it's gonna go back up again and of course RSR so similar to um, the rest of the other soft soft wallets you are able to stake in here as well take for example BNB all I gotta do is tap the more button on the very right oh okay this one does not have staking Whoa, wrong example there we go this BNB yeah boom see that it says stake so all I gotta do is press that stake button and I don't have any but yeah that's how you usually gain interest in trust wallet and yeah this is compatible with plenty of coins and if you want to add more coins to that list if it's not available all you gotta do is select the top right these two little buttons right here tap it and then it'll give you a selection of coins to select so that way you can add coins to this wallet and this is how it would look like if you were want to add let's say kin all you got to do is press receive and then copy this address or scan it your choice and yes this one is very compatible with um, what I call it, metamask and this is one of the most commonly used soft wallets out there now in terms of hard wallets uh, I would prefer fairly uh, fairly simple to use and yes there are there is staking involved in there as well as the uh, swap all right and also when it comes to buying hard wallets like the ledger you don't want to buy it off some um, untrustworthy website you want to do it directly from the ledger.com website reason being is because some of these guys could tamper with your wallet and basically steal your money so you want to do it the legit way by going to the, the site that's the most legit which is their website ledger.com and yeah sometimes they do have some sales uh, I remember last year they had a sale with um, Nano X and Nano S and it was like almost 50% off so like uh, went ham on it so you know what 
I should tell you guys the two different types of wallets they have products I am using the Nano S so if you are going to get the Nano S this is the cheaper version um, and it stores roughly around like three to six different cryptos so just yeah understand that as well before um, you know buying one of these wallets sometimes you could be a person with like 10x coins or something or more so if you are that person then what you're going to pick is the ledger nano x technically i do have this um hard wallet as well but i haven't opened it i haven't used it uh, but just based on my friend's review um, it's fairly good no issues with it and it stores more than five cryptos and let's see what the size is for this one let's see if they manage your crypto and yeah another great thing about these um, wallets is that they have key phrases for you to save on the side usually it's 12 key phrases and they're just words for you to remember um, so these words they're the backup key just in case you lose your wallet from let's say someone stealing your phone um, if it's a hard wallet let's say someone stole your hard wallet and you want to have access to it right away you can have access to it right away by installing the, um, the software and then inputting the key phrases in there that allows you to have time to retrieve all that money in there to somewhere else somewhere safe so yep you do have two ways to get access to your crypto so just understand that let's see here oh my god I can't see the stats I don't know how, what the, um, the size is oh well there we go up to 100 apps installed <laughs> yep um, in terms of other hard wallets I don't know of any other ones that are good because I've only used this one but you know what when I find other ones I'm gonna make another video about it but yeah these are my top recommended wallets for you to use if you're a beginner all right so yeah that's all I have for you and if you like this video find it helpful just press like and subscribe and yeah share it around amongst your friends as well thank you guys